Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to install Android 8.0 on Moto E 4th generation phone. So Moto E actually was released a long time ago when Motorola was with Google. Now Moto E 4 has been launched. Moto E was the first of the phone in the E lineup. So Moto E is a very small phone with very low specs. It, was, it costed around 7000 bucks at that time when it was released and had just 1 GB of RAM and 2 GB of internal memory that is available for the user to use. However, still we have a ROM that is available which is Lineage 15.0 which is a custom ROM which is available for this phone to be installed. Now memory, internal memory is going to be one of the issues. If you use, still use this phone and you want to you know, have the recent Android with you on this phone, you can use it. So let's get started. Okay, to install Android 8.0 on Moto E, we need to have two files, which is the ROM and again the Google Apps package. So I will leave the link in the description for both of them. And since I already have them in my phone, so I'm not going to I'm not going to go ahead and download it again. So I'm just going to hover and let's get started with the TWRP. Okay. So first we need to download this ADV folder, ADV files, which I'll again leave, uh, which are again in the description. Just control, press shift and right click and open PowerShell window here. Let's connect the phone. Okay, phone is connected. And we are going to type here dot backslash adb reboot bootloader. Or for that case, reboot recovery. In case you have, do not have a recovery, you can boot to bootloader and you can flash the recovery since i have the recovery so i'm just directly going to if you face this problem that means your device does not have usb debugging on so i'm going to show you how to switch that on as well go to settings and go to developer settings and switch this on you know small pop-up make sure you allow this press ok once we are done with this once we are done with this, we can again go back to reboot bootloader and not bootloader, which was recovery before. So now it will be reboot to recovery. Yeah, so we have it here. The first step is always take a backup. Now, uh, it is not the first time that you are rooting the phone, so I'm not going to show how the backup is done. I'm going to show it how to do it. The first step for installing any ROM is take a backup. So all the three of these would do enough and you can swipe and take a backup of it. Always take a backup on micro SD card. Now next step is wipe. So we need to wipe the already present OS on our phone. So wipe Dalvik system data and cache. Do not wipe internal. It's not important. It does not affect in any way. Let's wipe it up. Once it is done, you can go back and press install and find the uh, find the ROM that we downloaded. So I kept it here in the downloads folder and I also have OpenG apps. Now it's not really a choice to use OpenG apps here because OpenG apps seem to cause a lot of trouble in particularly in this device. So I'm not even going to use OpenG apps which the link is in the description which is AZ apps which is a very small size which is approximately 48 MB. So I'm going to use that, also keeping in mind that the internal memory space is real low on this device. This is Lineage 15.0, which is still in beta stage. Takes a little time to install. Once this is done, wipe cache and Dalvik. Find out the AG apps package, wherever you downloaded it. So I have it in my micro SD card and the ROM was in internal memory, a lot of confusion. So I'm going to flash this. Very small little package works effectively and gets installed effectively and quickly. So let's reboot system and let's find out. The first boot will take a little time and this is real nice boot animation of the end. Okay, so it's done finally. Took a lot of time. I'm going to debug. Press yes to debugging. So doesn't really go into the setup mode and it directly boots into this particular area rotation as well and I'm going to switch off mobile data as well switch off 55 time B and so okay so we are here and data is finished I'm just going to switch off Wi-Fi as well 
while it runs well. So let me just confirm at once that this is Android Oreo. Let's hop into the phone. Okay, guys. So we are in the phone, and let's see first of all bill number and stuff. So I just unlocked the UI tuner, so it's here. Let's go about phone. That's Android 8.0.0 .0 .0, August 5. Let's go back. So I did not do not have Wi-Fi connected anymore. You can tap build number and you can open developer options to do a little bit of stuff like if you want to adjust the display size which is a little big right now. So if I just put this down a little bit of lag that we are having here will actually go. Smallest width if I change this to 420 it will be a little better so yeah we can do that and 8.0 everything is working good it's very smooth yeah the storage is a little bit of a problem as you can see I have some of the files saved in internal memory as well so that is not exactly the size but yeah internal memory is a big problem for Moto E rest all we have the same features that we have ambient displays there you can have optimized adaptive brightness as well so the lineage 15.0 whatever features lineage carries all the features are there in this uh, rom right now so there is one just one app that supports camera which is a footage app so i'm going to just try and see if we can capture anything with it so this is like my demo box so i can use this and click a photo it's not very 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 smooth but yes it is there is no way to focus it very uh, blurry since it is night time here so causes a little bit of shuttering but yeah, on and on it is lagging a little bit since i'm uh, using video recorder screen recorder right now so it is lagging a little bit but footage camera is the one that you can use as a camera so if i want to like let's see if we can get video camera on so that's the video camera so that's my pc i don't know whether it's recording or not but i'm trying to record. the camera is not working right now and that's the browser that we have by default music application is there you can use math messaging application as well so that's more or less android 8.0 for moto e and you can see 81 percent is used now storage since i clicked few photos so all in all it's still in beta and it is still unofficial so it is going to take a little time to settle down and we have to wait for a little time to get a stable version for this phone as well all in all we did not expect i i specifically did not expect moto e to ever go ahead of marshmallow but we have an android 8 rom and it is still in development so hats off to the developer who is doing this and he's really working really hard so that's it for the video guys if you like my work please like and subscribe to the channel hope to see you soon again next time till then take care